Alrighty. Well, I'm just putting the finishing touches on a layer of ink here. This is black ink on a sheet of plexiglass. And I'm going to drop a sheet of paper on top of that ink. It's very stiff ink. It's not going to transfer much. But I am going to end up with what's called a transfer drawing, an ink transfer drawing. So I'm going to keep this paper from moving when I draw on it. I'm going to tape it down. And somebody gave the cat a pat or two on the way into the studio this morning, and the cat hair is showing up everywhere. I'll have to thank him for that. <laughs> He does what he can, you know. That's what we all do, right? So that ink is inside some tape, and I can feel the tape with my pen. And just drag that pen along that tape. And that tells me where my ink is at. And that's where my drawing needs to be. So I'm going to draw in here. I think I'm going to draw a crow. Just because I like them. They're cool birds. Smart. The harder I press with my pen, the more ink I transfer. He's got a little more of a beak out here. There we go. Get his eye in the right place, that's always nice. I'm looking at a photograph. I don't, uh, I've not committed crows to memory to the point where I can draw them without a photograph. But I have been drawing a lot of crows lately, and ravens too, actually. I think this might be a raven. Um, not my photograph, so I'm not positive. They are cool birds, and they're really fun to draw. you notice that I don't set my hand down when I draw, and there my pen isn't working. Still transferring ink because it's still putting pressure on the back. See if I can get it started again. Huh. Let's try a different one. That one's working at least for now. Um,
I can come back and transfer some ink with my finger just by pressing on it too. So I'm going to do that in just a little bit here. Um, some of this I want to be really dark with though. So that's the ballpoint puts a lot more pressure on, transfers a lot more ink than my finger. But so that smear isn't actually showing. Well, let's come back to this side before I. like I'm in about the right place. I love their feet and they're really kind of fun to draw. Makes me wish I had three toes. <laughs> Fun to scribble in these feet. In fact, the whole ink transfer thing is just kind of an excuse to scribble, I think. I've always enjoyed scribbling. little feathers down in here. This is a lot like work. Yeah, that's why they call it artwork.
I said I could transfer ink with my finger, pressure of my finger too. I'm going to do some of that. Quite a bit of pressure transfers a fair amount of ink. I think I want this out just a touch here. It's kind of nice I've got enough ballpoint there that I'm transferring enough that I can actually see where I've rubbed too. You can't always do that. And I think I want to I think I think I want see it is just an excuse to scribble so I've got a little template lets me scribble pretty fast and stay in the lines Boom. Let's peek, see what we got. Transfer just a little more ink there, I think. A little more here. A little more here. Quite a bit more, really. And I think I'm done with the drawing. Kind of fun. Figure out which one of those pens doesn't work. One of them doesn't work. Uh, I think I'm going to splash a little color on here too. We'll keep it pretty light, but I want to Oops, stay in the lines, Mark. By the way, I don't know if I introduced myself. I've been doing these videos, and I think I introduced myself in the last one, not this one. I'm Mark Zimmerman. I'm the, here as a visiting artist, working for your entertainment. <laughs> uh, and you're, um, if you're watching this, you're probably in a Sanford Hospital waiting room or cancer clinic or someplace and um, you should know that if you would like one of these there are probably some sitting around where you're watching the video and maybe you like this one maybe you like one a different one when you dig through it um, So, I'm just going to put a little tint of color back in here. Get some globs of paint there that I'm going to pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up. And 
there's a uh, switch brushes here. I got a little smaller work to do. I'm going to take that blue and make it a little more purplish. water in and oh can't blame the cat for that here that one's mine Put in a little red sky, little red sky at night, Sailor's Delight. I want to turn this a little bit to paint down here, otherwise I have trouble not bumping into the tripod the camera's on. Nobody likes that when that happens. This kind of gold color is really a yellow ochre. And that yellow kind of helps me bring out the, the violet I snuck in there on top of that blue. Just this little spot here, come back and catch that too. With too much paint, so I'll pick some paint up with my brush, dry my brush off, and then come back and pick it up instead of put it down. And then I think, better have a, Oh, they're always signed in pencil, or at least I always sign them in pencil. So title, signature, and 2020. And there's my painting of, that I'm calling The Perch. And like I said, if you would like that, it's probably laying around here, or maybe laying around where you're at. And, um, you can help yourself. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching. I uh, kind of had fun doing it. Bye-bye.